Hey gang, welcome to the shop. Been a while since I've been out here. Uh, if any of you that are on my Facebook know uh, all this beautiful wood. <laughs> I got stain on the floor, stain on my shoes, a stain everywhere. But I realized I've been keeping this one kind of under wraps and due to, you know, we're getting close to the deadlines and stuff and a couple people that are interested wanted to know how far along I was on the new robot. So I brought you into my shop and for the first time I'm going to let the public see the new robot. This is Trilobot. Trilobot runs, drives, weapon motors in, weapon assembly, everything is there. It's, it's a complete, well, I guess what we would call a running frame or a runner. Well, this old Boss extrusion, everything is pretty close to the blueprint, pretty close to the size. I gotta weld this steel that's on the front, this heavy quarter inch stuff. I got more over there. There's gonna be a nice big box here to cover this all up. One of the things that's really important with robots is not being able to do the thing right, when you get stuck up on one side. And as you can see, even with things like this, the wheel is out here and this is back here. The point on that is to never have anything bigger than the wheels. I love these giant wheels. This is an 18 inch rim with a Basically a doom buggy tire. You can eat 80% of that tire and it will continue to run. A fun note on the way I do, I do tires, they aren't just bolted to the NPC on the inside like your wheel is to your car. I have two rims on my tire. Normally you'd bolt it to the inside rim. What I've done is this inside one is designed to fit perfectly over this inside ring. Now, if I had a, an empty MPC here, I got one somewhere, but if I had one, I could show you. There's another step inside there that's exactly the same size as the inner rim of that tire. So the inner rim is actually running free around that piece of the billet casing. The outer rim is what's bolted to the motor. So it, it makes things a lot more bulletproof. I came up with this design after my fight with Warhead because I lost that fight. He, he, he ate my tires. He continually attacked and finally ate my tire right off the robot. These are 18 inches of beauty, I'll tell you what. And you can see in here, they've got a little extra. There, there's a bunch of stuff going on inside there that keeps the other ones connected that I have to finish. One of the reasons for the big tires, besides traction, I can really bite into the ground. It makes the robot completely invertible, no matter whether it's up or down, it runs just fine. I've already tested it many times, both up and down, it runs great that way. These motors were originally spare drive motors for Techno Destructo, the super heavyweight from back in BattleBots Comedy Central days. We bought those several years ago for the original, I think it was Sharko for 1999. But I have two of those, really great motors, but they've been around since the days of Comedy Central. This and this, these two pieces of here, if I took them off, you could see these were the lid for Buzz Bomb. It's kind of funny because Buzz Bomb was the bot that I fought in battle bots at Comedy Central, and I, I think it was 2001, 2002, really in the early years. And they had one fight, a belt slipped off as soon as the fight started. And, and you know, you can't, you, it's a four wheel bot, you go forward and backward, but even back then, you, you couldn't. When you lose one side drive on a four wheel bot, you're done. So it had one fight. Then when we went to Robotica, John had it in the trunk. We did season two with Fantastic, and they needed more bots for season three, so he got out an EV Warrior motor, and basically we clamped a saw blade to this EV Warrior motor and clamped it to the front of Buzz Bomb. This was Buzz Bomb. This piece of frame here, what I'm going to do is set this so I should be able to superimpose a picture of the original Buzz Bomb next to it and you can see exactly what it was. The frame, the base part of this frame, this Bosch, this, this Bosch is amazing stuff. It's aluminum extrusion, but it's great for this type of thing because it's easy to replace. It's easy to cut pieces of it. It's easy to source and I don't have to weld. Everything basically bolts together. I don't use all the Bosch 
bolting hardware. I do use some of it, but for certain things, I drill and bolt through. It, it, it's much better. I like to put, this is a really good way for me to join these things together. Big hunk of steel and everything's all nicely clamped up. It, it makes for a really strong, really tough frame. Uh, I need a few things still, but, but at this point, the drive system's done, the weapon is done to the shaft. I need to finish the front armor, finish the weapon head, the weapon assembly itself. When that's done, I can get a weight and then start skinning. So we're getting there, we're getting close, we're not there yet. And we got a big step in the welding because that's something I can't accomplish right now. But that's where we are right now. So there it is, Trilobot. Dun, dun, dun. This is the video of me testing it a couple months ago when I first got it running. This was before I built the tires, so, but it, it shows you how it runs. Catch you later. I gotta get more rum. Ciao.